friends and colleagues, therapists that will talk about it or they'll see it, they're very skeptical because, you know, how can something so simple work? What kind of mechanism is just thinking about the physiology and anatomy, you know, what's going on when you're doing the band? But the bottom line is that you try it and it works and it's it's not like I have I never had like a patient who say it's less than seventy five percent better with one treatment at that time. Sometimes you no, know, you come back a little bit and then you do another treatment. But it's like unless you try it, you won't know. You know right. That's that's one thing. Don't you think it's because yeah. we're using this uh, Theraband any elastic bands for exercises and we're using this for one particular way to treat for so many years and uh, everybody thinking about it you're just gonna use this and you're gonna the use Theraband, the resistance. they think Theraband, they're about, they think oh that's Theraband, it's like no it's not Theraband it's, uh, it's, it's not and, and you know people don't think about it is that how the hands are small and when you're gonna apply this how much more surface you cover with your hands how much you can manipulate the soft tissue mm -hmm. Uh, which actually that's what we started this yeah. you know a couple years ago when I had this patient uh, you know how that started right did you ever heard the story was in Germany was I don't well I don't you know, know how did how did we start yeah. MSK class oh you guys yeah no. so the story is the story is very interesting um, I had a patient friend of mine and he was a martial artist he was a big guy and he was a really big guy 350 pounds 375 pounds he wasn't very very tall and he came to me and he said Robert you know I have the ACL repair and uh, in two months I had the black belt test I think right. he said I want you to help me to fix it I need to go back uh, so he lay down on the table I put my hands on him and here you can imagine you know, he's a big guy and now he have the swelling up post up after ACL you can imagine you know. so I placed my hands on him and just like they like in the sponge, they're just going through. I cannot even find any surface on there. I'm just like, how am I gonna work with that guy? You know, we're just gonna tell him to do isometric exercises or what else? Now, how are we gonna have some manual therapies? We're gonna work with this. I have to lift him, lift him because I was going to Poland, uh, the great country, as you were already, yeah, there, yes. and you already know yeah, how great food and <laughs> great, great place. And I was lucky because I was able to go to visit the strongman competition. Did you hear about the yes, strongmen? Yes. They pulling yeah. the tracks, they yeah. pulling everything. And not only when I that I was able to go for competition, I was also able to go and watch the training which they have. And I noticed that they putting the uh, the, the bike tubes around their legs. So I started to ask them, why are you guys doing this? Yeah. And, you know, it's like sounds like hard work. And say, like, well, we start to feel more when we put this on. So it was left somewhere in the other side of the brain. I the next couple of days, I the next day. My family member, she has a chronic arthritis, and uh, and that was affecting her grip. Her gripping skills were terrible. So what we did, we applied the belt for kind of you know brace for the wrist, and of course that was helping her with her grip. I get back here, and uh, on the first day, guess who is waiting on the table for me? My guy, a great friend. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm going to the table, and I'm thinking, what are we gonna do with him? And then I think about this, what they did in Poland, okay? I look around, here's the Velcro. I put the Velcro, nothing can be done with this, okay? So Velcro doesn't work. I had the gate belt. I use this gate, but it's very small, as you already know that. You cannot yeah. manipulate with this, you cannot stretch this, okay? So it didn't work. And then I start to use elastic bands, which I have in the clinic. And when we wrap this, that was allowing me actually to get much larger surface to manipulate. Finally, I was able to go deep inside and find the tissue. And, and that was helping him actually to, 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 to. So that's why, you know, we, a couple days later, I met with Armin and we just discussed these things. And that's how everything started. The first time I saw it was uh, during the Brazilian Olympic Games. Uh, the Chinese team was uh -huh. using it for oh. warm up. Okay. That was the first time I saw on TV. I said, what are they doing? You know, so I saw them doing it a lot. and. Uh, What's that? And I don't know if it was about the time we talked about it or you, then you mentioned something and we started just doing a little trial, see how it works and get the band. And, um, but one thing I was going to say about that is like, uh, like we're talking about well, doing joint, you can do joint mobs, you know, you can do like uh, a neuro glides with the you know, combination with that. It's like, uh, it's very effective. Uh, it, it is. It, it seems to like uh, enhance the results of those treatments that we're already doing. That's correct. That's another tool in the hands of the therapist. Yeah. It's, it's not the magic thing which is going to work and do yeah. the job. You still have to have the skills you have to follow. Right. 
And that's why when you, you see the studies, which lately are coming quite often, and they, they're just using the regular people, the la, you know, they, they just like have the tennis player, they don't have the dysfunction, they're trying to actually improve the range of motion of the elbow. Yeah. But there's not too much dysfunction with us. When you go back to the patients, that, like your person that we were talking with, uh, limited range of motion, you know, frozen shoulder, then you're working with the person who really needs this. That's yeah. how we can get the results with us. Sure. Uh, so that's how we think about it, is that there would be a fantastic thing in the medical world and physical therapy just to help people to use this.